hey y'all hey my name is brielle welcome to my channel and in today's video i will be cooking a what i feel like could be a solo thanksgiving or not just a solo maybe it's only like one or two people three you know a small thanksgiving meals whether you don't even have to call it thanksgiving i know not everybody celebrates it the history behind it but regardless the world is on pause well america is on pause for this day and why not cook something why not enjoy the time that you have off work if you do let us take a quick pause from this chit chat for uh some chicken frying sounds I know my real foodies will understand, you know, like that's just a noise everyone wants to hear every now and then, okay? You're welcome. So regardless of whichever you fall under in that category, okay, this is a meal that you could be cooking. Why did I just rant so hard about that? Anyway, I was born on Thanksgiving. Let's just start there. Um, the year that I was born, my mom literally was getting up to go to my dad's well my grandparents house my dad's parents house for thanksgiving dinner and her water broke as she was getting up so i came that night and i swear that made me a foodie like of all holidays i could have been born on i love food i love to cook and i knew like the first time that i made risotto i wanted it to be like i put my foot in it so yeah here i am making <laughs> chicken broth from scratch that is going to be the base of the risotto be what really bodies the risotto and i knew like i've watched a lot of cooking videos a lot of cooking shows all that stuff and i know how important a good broth is in a risotto and yeah so i just knew i had to like go all out with this risotto and the broth and yeah so this this took a little minute. I'm glad that I I had the idea beforehand, the day before. So I knew, you know, get up a little early because <laughs> chicken broth takes a minute. Okay, yeah, 12 o'clock. I went and I watched a movie. I watched a two-hour movie. Okay, Hidden Figures. It's on Disney right now. Great movie. I think I, I teared up. I'm not gonna say I think, like trying to trying to act like I did it. I cried at one point. It was, you know, rewatching movies that you saw when you were younger as an adult. And like it just I don't know, sometimes it just hits a little different. It just hits a little different. Anyways, an hour and a half later, almost two hours later, almost two hours later. Here we are. I have these cute little tops from Amazon to like stop stuff from boiling over. Very necessary. And look at this broth, y'all. This started off as clear freaking water. Amazing. I love cooking. Cooking is so much fun. Obviously, had to get a little taste test and yeah, just showing y'all, you know, that fat separation from the broth. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful sight. Also, I ended up throwing on some rosemary butter at this time. Me and my sister put rosemary butter on our popcorn and rosemary butter okay anyways we're moving fast as you can see no i could keep talking about that i'm making broth y'all y'all see what i'm doing i'm making broth anyways yeah rosemary okay try it on your popcorn it's really freaking good but i also use some of the rosemary butter in the recipe so it was just like a great day okay ignore the part about my shirt being up i burnt my stomach i burnt my stomach with the broth oh my gosh that was so embarrassing i'm not gonna include like a picture or nothing like that because i know some people are like insensitive or like you know sensitive to that kind of material but third degree burn i don't i don't care you can't tell me like welch i could see the skin underneath like really badly really badly burnt myself i strained all of those through a colander i want to say that's called but um i had to go to the store wine i tried to buy wine i made this on sunday i tried to buy wine at like 10 o'clock in the morning uh no ma'am sorry um it's, it's not 12 o'clock yet oh well how embarrassing like, i'm just using it to cook oh my gosh like uh, why are you trying to buy wine at 10 o'clock on a sunday lady anyway clean as you go clean as you freaking go it makes the process oh yeah that happened that freaking happened <laughs> i forgot oh uh, i forgot three days later when i'm trying to edit this and i'm looking at the hot mess yeah embarrassing so little <laughs> a little 
Oh, time killer. Okay, anyways, I need to get a strainer. Yes, I need the coffee filter. I went and got a coffee filter. I just, I really wanted this to be very, very well sifted, especially the butter. I didn't want any little rosemary flakes because that's one thing about we make like fresh popcorn with the kernels and all that stuff and so that's one of the things about making rosemary popcorn is that the rosemary will burn and then you're eating like burnt rosemary i want rosemary flavored oil popcorn oil essentially so yeah it came out really nice it's really good i've been using it for these like past four days it's so good i already made the popcorn of course reminding me to actually text my sister it's like when you live together with someone but your work schedules are so different sometimes like we're just coming and going and we don't have time to like sit down and talk to each other for real but yeah so the way that I grocery shop these shallots I got these freaking shallots from Publix for three four dollars for like two shallots okay I'm like, I grabbed them at Publix because I'm like, I'm scared that I'm going to go to Aldi's and Aldi's is not going to have shallots. Of course, I go to Aldi's. I get a bag of six shallots for $2. The disrespect. I really only go to Publix for like certain like, you know, name brand things that every once in a while you may need. But my go to is either Lidl or Aldi's. Like they never let me down price wise, quality wise, both like those big name brand stores they know they could charge an arm and a leg for some of the things that they do not need to be charging that much for this lovely gift from amazon um i will never struggle to open another wine bottle in my life it takes like five seconds max i love it i'm making sauce here this is like a wine uh, uh, like red glaze sauce or whatever that you usually see on like prime ribs okay so yeah basically last year i made a whole beef roast for myself okay crazy i know blowing through money i know um i i've ended up you know using it for like sandwiches and stuff like that throughout the week but at the initial meal i made a whole freaking beef tenderloin last year i wanted the similar taste of that but without roasting a whole freaking beef tenderloin so i wanted to make the sauce for it at least so that's what that sauce was i think i used a wine that was like not good i don't know basically it came out like a purplish color i don't i don't know what went wrong i followed a recipe look <laughs> we're just not gonna talk about it the sauce was good the sauce was good it just the color wasn't it it might have been the flour this recipe told me to put like a flour butter mixture in it i don't know anyways here's the abro abro i don't even know how to say it um Arborio type of rice. Anyways, the special rice that you need to make risotto, y'all. That's what that rice is. Risotto, I was so afraid to make this for years. Honestly, I feel like I've tried, but I used the wrong rice one time, right? But I I was always like a challenge. I don't know, the first like chef that I heard talk about it. Oh, it's 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 you never want to mess up a risotto blah, blah, blah. It, it was difficult and honestly I did I feel like I went one more like ladle of broth over that I needed to do for all my you know real cooks out there um <laughs> no shade no shade but I yeah that's what I realized I was the only thing it was a little bit too fluffy like I could have let it you know, I could have let it be a little harder basically is all I'm saying but as far as taste quality all that it was so good y'all it was so good i ate these leftovers for like two days i did i did i i really love this and i will definitely be making this again it is not difficult y'all it is not difficult oh yeah this is the meat that i used it wasn't seasoned it was just sliced like fajitas so you know it was like thin cuts of meat they just put fajita on there but anyways got that from Lidl. i want to say ten dollars lovely look at all that meat ten dollars yes baby thanks so this is what I put on the meat and somehow I just 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 fry the meat. Just fry it like you would fry a steak. Um pan fry it. I didn't include that clip, but yeah, that's how I cooked the meat. Anyways, I think that this meat was a pretty good cut for this, like what I was doing. Um if I do this again, I'll probably just do like fillets, like just get a go a little bit more pricier and just do two fillets versus that. But anyways, back to the risotto. It's looking good. I tasted it here. It was still hard. So I was like, okay, it needs to keep going. Taste your food as you're cooking. It, that, it really helps. That was one thing like when I was like, I guess, bettering my cooking skills or just something now that I still know that I need to do. 
taste your food just taste it it's not don't wait to the end no like yeah you still have that initial shock when you first taste it but you still need to know like throughout the meal what it's tasting like yeah so this is that butter flour thing but even then even before now that i'm saying that even before i put this um the flour and the butter mixture in there well i would have liked it at this color i would have liked it at this color see how it got cloudy after i added the flour and the flour wasn't trying to mix you know i brought out my handy dandy hand mixer so i definitely got the flour to dissolve but once the flour dissolved then it was this purple color and it was just so weird but anyways the risotto it's not hard it's not hard it's tedious that's what it is it you don't leave the kitchen do not leave the kitchen okay it just takes some time but it, it came out so good and yeah here we are let's make this beautiful plate my mouth is watering again i'm gonna stop eating like this this is a thanksgiving meal but i look you do be treating myself like a little too often when it comes to like cooking at home i love to spoil myself that's my thing and you run to spoiling yourself when you've just not been in the best mood <sighs> it's thanksgiving my birthday is on saturday this year so i will not have the whole burn on thanksgiving birthday on thanksgiving thing or even black friday the plate ugh, amazing wait get a better shot there we go tastes so good thank y'all for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i really just sat here and talked this whole way through my throat hurts i need some water anyway Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. It's a little weird. I know. I'm weird. I know. I hope you enjoyed it, though. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.